Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're trying a new product that I am so excited to try. We're trying the new NARS Light Reflecting Eye Brighteners. So many of you tagged me in these on Instagram when they were sneak peeked a few weeks ago. So I knew I had to try these. I got three shades. We're gonna do a super in-depth video on these. You know me and under eye products, especially correcting, concealing, brightening. I love all the things, so I'm really excited to try these today with you for the first time. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but I am posting Monday through Friday in June, so I hope you'll stick around and subscribe, and let's just get into it. So like I said, I have three of the shades. I could not pick just two. I was going to just order one at first. Then I thought about two, but I could not figure the shades out just looking at them online. So I just went with all three of the lighter shades. So I have fair light, light medium, and medium. They all look like different undertones to me. So I'll swatch them and apply them all for you so you can see. But if you're new to me and my channel, I always use correctors under my eyes. I always have darkness. I have blue, purple darkness under my eyes. I always have for as long as I can remember. I think it's hereditary. So I'm always looking for the best products to help combat that. Now, these are not marketed or designed from what I can tell to be correctors. So I don't expect these to totally cover my dark circles. In fact, I'm sure that they probably will not, but I wanna see how they look on their own. I wanna see how they look over a true corrector that I would normally use. We have a lot of different combinations of things to try today. I wanna read a little bit about what NARS says about this on the Sephora app. It says an advanced makeup skincare hybrid that illuminates the under eye area by targeting dark circles and dullness for brightness that lasts up to 24 hours. It says it's medium coverage, radiant finish. So I'm assuming this is going to be in terms of the finish similar to the light reflecting foundation, which if you're new to my channel, that's like a holy grail foundation for me. So how they suggest to wear it is wear alone for instant natural looking illumination, lightly layer on top of concealer for maximum brightening effect or apply as a midday touch up and can be used under concealer to soften dullness, which makes me think they're saying that you can use it as a corrector underneath of a concealer as well. So. We're gonna try it all because I have the shades and I know a lot of you wanted to see this. So let's go ahead and take these out of the box. So they are in a little bit of different packaging. I was initially thinking they were gonna be like the NARS Soft Matte Concealer, which is right here, which I love. This is another Holy Grail product for me, but I actually like that they did these a little bit differently. So the little container is frosted glass, you have a white top, and I did stick my finger in this earlier, so that's why it looks like that. But it looks like this, so this is the lightest shade. This is the shade Night Swan. So I'll go ahead and swatch this one for you. I had to stick my finger in at least one of them when these came because I just, I couldn't stand it. So I will share Night Swan with you. So this is pretty light, as you'll see. So this is the Fair Light shade on my skin tone. So this, the formula, I would definitely agree. It feels extremely hydrating and emollient. Just based on swatching them, the consistency really reminds me of the Becca under eye brighteners. If you're familiar with that formula, this reminds me a lot of that. Okay, so that was the lightest shade. The next shade is Golden Eye. So this is the light medium shade. Looks like this. I guess I did swatch this one too. You guys, I like ripped into these as soon as they came. So that's light medium. This one looks to be, yeah, it's more of a yellowy undertone. Okay, so we have Night Swan there and Golden Eye there. So you can see 
This one is a good bit more yellow. This one is more on the pinky neutral side. And then I was not planning to get the medium shade. The reason that I did was I wanted to see if I could use this like a corrector since it's a little bit dark or it is going to be dark for my skin tone. I thought it might work under my eyes as a color corrector like I normally use. So this is the shade Impossible Dream and this is the medium shade. So you can see it's a good bit darker, a little bit on the orangey side. I really wanted to be able to show all three in case you are struggling to pick one. Okay, so you can see there is a very big difference. So Fair, which is Night Swan, Golden Eye, which is Light Medium, and Impossible Dream, which is Medium. And I will insert some natural light swatches as well so you can see. These come in five shades, so there are two additional shades that I don't have, and they retail for $34. I zoomed you way, way in so you can see. We're gonna start by applying these just to my bare under eyes. We're gonna start with the lightest shade, which is Night Swan. And we will go ahead and apply this one to this side. So this formula, I'm guessing, is probably gonna apply well with your finger. I have already prepped under my eyes with some eye cream, which I would always recommend, no matter what you're putting under your eyes, apply some eye cream and let it sit for five to 10 minutes, preferably a little bit longer if you can. Okay, so let's go in with this. I usually find really emollient formulas like this. Sometimes apply the best with your finger. So there is Night Swan. And there is nothing. Honestly, that one did a pretty good job of covering the darkness, which I'm shocked by. Typically, you have to be careful with brightening type shades if you, or brightening products in general. If you have a lot of darkness under your eyes and you go in with something that's a lot lighter than your tone of darkness, you're gonna get that gray color kind of shining through. It's not gonna work how you're wanting it to. You may get a brightening effect, but you will also most likely get a shadow kind of peeking through. So that's why I typically don't recommend going too, too bright under your eyes, especially if you have darkness. So I'm kind of shocked by that because that one did really well at covering my darkness. Now I will say I do have more darkness on this side of my eye, or this eye, than I do on this one. So I did want to point that out. I will say I compared it to the Becca under eye corrector earlier, which unfortunately I don't own that one anymore, but the finish of it reminded me of it just in the swatches. This one is not quite as pearly looking under my eyes. The Becca one almost has like a pearlescent finish to it under your eyes. This one definitely has a little bit of that light reflecting quality, obviously that's in the name, but it's not quite as pearly looking as the Becca one. But looks super nice, not creasing at all yet. Looks good, looks good. I'm kind of surprised. I thought that one was gonna be way too light, but it did a pretty good job. I think you can definitely see a little bit of the purple blue tone peeking through, which I would expect, but it's covering much more than I thought. All right, let's move on. To my other eye, now I will say, this eye, like I said, is typically darker than this eye. This eye is what I would call my problem eye. If I'm gonna have issues with darkness showing through, things not covering it, it's on this eye. So this one, it's, it's gonna have to work a little bit harder <laughs> to brighten this under eye. But we're gonna do light medium on this side. So this one is the more yellow tone, it's just a little bit darker, not quite as light. So this is the shade Golden Eye. So I'm gonna again use my finger because that seemed to work well on the other side. So Golden Eye is over here. Night Swan is over here. I'm actually gonna turn the brightness down even farther. I can't turn the brightness down anymore then it's turned down right now, just so you can really see. But this one is light medium, this one is 
the fair light shade. The one we just applied, Night Swan, is obviously more yellow. I don't typically go super yellow under my eyes. I like something that's more of a pinky, peachy tone typically, but it didn't do a bad job of correcting the darkness. I definitely still see some of the darkness peeking through, especially when I go like this, you can see much more darkness on this side, the light medium side, than you can on this side. But like I said, this side is also darker than this side, so I would kind of expect that, but it doesn't look bad. It does not look bad at all. I pr honestly prefer the lighter one right now, but I do wanna see if I add a little bit more to the light medium side, what happens if you can, just cause that side, like I said, is darker than the other side. So I'm also gonna apply some in this inner corner because I also get darkness right there. So we added just a little bit more. So light medium is over here. Fair light is over here with nothing underneath. I mean, you guys, honestly, I'm, I like this on its own much more than I was thinking I was going to. I don't typically, I just don't typically love brighteners on their own. Usually my darkness shows like right through and it looks worse than if I just didn't apply anything at all. But it doesn't look bad. I mean, they're not fully covered. Hopefully you'll be able to see that on camera. You can definitely see the darkness through them, but they covered more than I thought. In terms of the way it looks under my eyes, it, it, the formula is really pretty. Really pretty, very hydrating looking, not creasing so far. Okay, now what I wanna do is I want to remove these and I wanna apply the medium shade first to my under eyes and then apply a little bit of concealer on top and see how this shade works as a corrector because this shade is obviously too dark for me to wear on its own. I would have to use it in that way. So let me remove these and I'll be back. Now we're gonna go in and use the medium shade. I just removed what I had under my eyes and reapplied some eye cream under there. I used this one, if you're curious, the Bobbi Brown uh, Vitamin Enriched Face Base or Eye Base. I'll link it below for you. But now I wanna use this. So we're gonna go in with the medium shade and see how this works as a corrector. So I would put something over the top of this. But we're gonna go in with this shade. I'm gonna apply this one on this side, which is my darker side. So let's try it out. So there is the medium shade. This eye has nothing. So this is how I would typically recommend to color correct if you have dark circles. I would go darker than your skin tone. You have to match the depth of the darkness with your corrector and then apply something brighter over the top. That's how I would typically apply a corrector and a concealer or a brightener that will give you the most full coverage result, typically. So there is that shade. Now, that one also did a pretty good job of correcting the darkness. This one is just darker than my skin tone, obviously, so I would need to go in over the top of this. But I think I could definitely use this as a corrector, for sure. And honestly, it's not even as dark as I thought it was going to be under my eyes. Let's go ahead and add just a little bit more out of curiosity. So I just added like a tiny bit more right here where I have the most darkness. I have to say I'm loving the formula on this. Really, really nice, very hydrating, easy to apply, not creasing badly as of now. We're gonna go ahead and apply some concealer on top. All right, so we're gonna use NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Madeline, which is a great shade for my skin tone. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of this over the top and a little bit in this inner corner. I'm gonna go in and Blend that in with the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. And this brush is 
clean so there's no product on it. All right, so this eye has the medium corrector on first and then a little bit of NARS concealer on top. This eye has nothing. That, I mean, that did a really good job. Those two products, that gave a lot of coverage. What I will say is typically I prefer something with a little bit more pink in it. I do think the NARS uh, medium color, it worked fine and I could have paired it with an even more pinky concealer to kind of get that pink color, but I do typically prefer something with a little bit more of a pink undertone, like a true peach. Just for my under eyes, that seems to work really well. The medium shade in NARS and Possible Dream is a bit on the orange side, but it works. You can definitely make it work, and I mean, it definitely did well at correcting under this eye. Now what I wanna do on this side, I want to apply kind of the same thing we just did, but with a different product underneath. So I'm going to use a corrector that I love very much, the Pixie Under Eye Corrector. Then we're going to put one of the lighter brighteners over the top. So you can see that as well. So this is what I mean. So this color from Pixie is peach, but it definitely has a little bit of like a slightly pink undertone. So I'm also going to use my finger with this. And so I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but this one definitely has a little bit of a pinkier undertone than um, really any of these NARS brighteners. So do you see that? Like that color honestly on its own works really well under my eyes. So there you have it. This is Pixie Under Eye Corrector on its own. This is NARS Medium under eye brightener and NARS Radiant Creamy on top. All right, so now I'm gonna take the lightest NARS brightener, which is Night Swan, and I'm gonna add this on top. Not much, just a little, because honestly, that corrector does most of the work for you. All right, so this one is Pixie with the lightest shade Night Swan over the top. This one is Impossible Dream NARS Light Reflecting Corrector with uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer on top. In terms of color, I prefer the way this looks just because this one has a, a bit more yellow in it, a bit more orangey yellow, which works. I just prefer something with a little bit more pink to it, which is why I like this side better. But overall, it's the product itself is doing a great job. I think this is gonna be one of those things where you can honestly use it however you want. Makeup is like that in general. Even if something is marketed a certain way, it doesn't mean you have to use it for that specific purpose. That's why I wanted to try a darker shade of this and use it as a corrector, even though this is called an under eye brightener. You can do that with anything in makeup. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with these, you guys. I think it's gonna depend on you and how you personally want to use it, but so far, I'm very impressed. Now, one more combination I wanna try is I want to use a correcting shade of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer with one of the brighteners over the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this side and we'll do that for one final combination. All right, so we removed this side and now we're gonna go in with NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Honey first, which is a kind of a light, cooler toned shade that can be used as a corrector as well. I'm gonna apply this like I normally would. We're gonna blend this in with a different brush. This is a Zoeva 145 and it is clean. And I am just gonna tap this in and you'll see right away how much this corrects that darkness I have. So there is NARS Radiant Creamy and Honey on its own, does a pretty good job just by itself, to be honest. So that is it there. This is still the side with Pixie and the lightest brightener over the top, Night Swan. Let's do 
the brightener in the light medium shade. So the more yellow toned one that looks like this. We're gonna use this uh, on top. All right, so I'm going into the light medium in Night Swan, applying just a bit of this over the top. So on this side, we have NARS Radiant Creamy and Honey as a corrector with the Light Reflecting Brightener in Golden Eye. And then over here, we have the Pixie Corrector with the Light Reflecting Brightener in Night Swan, which is the lightest shade. All right, so those are all the combinations I'm gonna do with these. I do wanna do a bit of a wear test for you because I know that's gonna be another question is how do these hold up throughout the day? Do you need to set them with powder? So I wanna do a wear test for you with the brighteners on their own. So with nothing else under my eyes. So I am gonna go ahead and remove what I have under my eyes now. Just go in with the brighteners, finish up my makeup, and then I'll kinda give you my final thoughts and then I will wear this all day long and I'll do one more check-in for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these, apply the brighteners again, finish my makeup, and I'll be back. you guys I finished the rest of my makeup and I just want to give you some initial thoughts on this product so today what I did was I removed everything that was under my eyes and I applied the lightest shade of the brightener to both sides which is night swan so that's all I have under my eyes right now is the lightest shade I did set one side. So this side has a little bit of powder on it. This side has nothing but the brightener. I did that just to see how they wear each way. So I'm gonna wear this makeup all day. I'll come back and kind of give you my thoughts on the wear time, but I wanted to just kind of talk about my overall thoughts on these and who I think will like these. If you are someone that does not have much darkness under your eyes, maybe a little bit of discoloration, but you don't have significant dark pigment under your eyes, and you want something to just throw on really quickly just to make yourself look a little bit more awake, you will love this product. It takes very little on your finger, just tap it on. You get a little bit of brightness, luminosity, um, from that hydrating radiant finish and a little bit of color. I have it on today by itself. I would not personally wear this a ton on its own unless I was just doing like a no makeup makeup kind of look. Like today, I think it looks fine, but you can definitely see my darkness peeking through because my darkness is darker than this shade. The reason I went in with the lightest one is because I like the color and the tone of this shade the best out of the three, but it's still light compared to my darkness. So for me personally, I would pair this with a corrector underneath and then use this on top to brighten like we did earlier. But like I said, if you don't have that issue and you have just a little bit of discoloration, I think you'll love these. The formula on this very, very good. Like I said, very hydrating. It is a more radiant formula. Now, I wouldn't call it overly 
dewy or it's not glittery or anything. It doesn't have any shimmer in it, but it is a hydrating formula. So you are gonna get a little bit of that radiant look under your eyes unless you set with a little bit of powder. In terms of the dark medium shade, which is impossible dream as a corrector, you could definitely make it work. You saw me do that earlier. I put that on and then I put uh, a little bit of NARS concealer over the top. Definitely works. This is not my perfect corrector shade. It's a little bit orange. I wish it was a little bit pinkier and I would probably like it better, but you could definitely do that as well depending on your personal darkness under your eyes. That's what's tricky about products like this, correctors, brighteners. It's all about the color really and the depth of your skin and your darkness under your eyes. What works for me may not work for you and what works for you may not work for me. It's just it's kind of a tricky subject. So that's why I wanted to apply a bunch of different combinations of the products so you could really see. But I wanna wear this on its own, like I said, just to give you an idea of the wear time. So I'm gonna wear this makeup all day long and I will come back in a few hours and show you what it's looking like. But so far, on its own, it looks really nice. I have to say, I think I prefer the side with a little bit of powder as opposed to the side with none, but we're going to wear it and see how they wear throughout the day. So I will see you guys in a few hours. All right, you guys, I wanted to quickly close out the video. It's been about five-ish hours since I applied the brighteners and I just kind of wanted to give you my overall thoughts. So first of all, you saw me earlier apply the lightest shade, which is Night Swan, under my eyes. I set with powder on this eye. I did not use any powder on this eye. I do think they've both worn okay. I do feel like the side with the powder has worn just a little bit better. This side has not totally worn away, but I do feel like I've lost a little bit more coverage over here than I have over here. And just overall, the side with the powder looks a little bit more smooth. I think with a formula like this that's pretty emollient and very, very hydrating, unless you have just very, very dry under eyes, you're probably going to want to set this down with just the smallest bit of powder. Overall, I think the wear on this is pretty good. I'll continue to use it and update you in future videos, but so far I'm pretty impressed with the wear. In terms of my overall thoughts on this product, I think this is a really nice product from NARS. NARS really never misses with me with complexion. I think pretty much everything they do is good. They're just, they just know what they're doing with corrector, concealer, foundation, their products are just good and this one is no exception. For me personally, like I said in the earlier clip, I don't know how much I will wear it like I have it on today with nothing underneath unless I can definitely see just throwing this on quickly if I'm trying to get out the door really fast and just want to throw something under my eyes just to kind of help me look more awake since I do have dark circles always. I could see myself just using this in instances like that, but typically I would probably use a corrector underneath, either a corrector that I always use like the pixie one, or I could, like you saw earlier, use the darker medium shade in, as a corrector. So that is probably how I will use this product the most. This is a nice multi-use product, honestly, because you can use it in different ways. You can apply it on its own, you can apply it over concealer, you can apply it over corrector, you could even mix some of the shades. I might even mix the light shade and the light medium at some point. One other thing I did want to mention, I was watching my clips back before I started filming this from earlier and I said earlier that I preferred the light shade which is what I have on now, but looking at the footage I actually really liked the look of the light medium shade which is the more yellow one, which is kind of interesting. I still like this one, but when I saw this on my eyes, just looking at it in the footage, I actually really liked 
the light medium shade. I think this is a really great addition to NARS product offering. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I will have everything listed below that I used. I will have the brighteners listed below and all the other makeup that I'm wearing if you are curious. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.